Good morning. It is Friday, January 11th, 2019. Uh, first personal updates. Um, yesterday was a meh day as far as work goes. Um, I did end up getting really sleepy. Um, not a whole lot of business. Just, I mean, enough um, that it was all right. Uh, but I did come home um, in the afternoon and chilled for a bit before I went out with my friend Jesse last night and played trivia and kicked a bit of ass on the first round. First place, $15 gift card. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, and um, that was a, it was, it was a pretty good day. Came home, uh, got to bed a little bit later than I would have thought. So maybe I'm going to be on the tired side again today. Um, but, you know, we'll get through it and find out. Um, also, I been having some issues with uploading these videos. I'm doing them on my phone currently, and it looks like I was set on a fairly high, not the highest, but a fairly high resolution. And these files are huge and they're taking a long time to upload. So when I, uh, uh, leave, it's still uploading on my phone and it uses up a lot of data. Uh, so I've lowered the resolution a, a bit. Uh, doesn't look like it'll go that low. And I, um, uh, am going to get a webcam here pretty soon. I can mount it somewhere. Um, not sure when, but once I have the webcam, then I can record onto the computer and it can upload while I'm, wherever I am. Okay. I did go through today in history. There was really only one thing that caught my eye. So I think we're going to take a slight deep dive in honor of the discovery of two moons of Uranus. It's a uh, Titania, Titania and Oberon. I'm not sure the pronunciation of Titania, Titania. Um, because I'm not a Shakespeare expert. Um, most of the moons in the solar system have been named after uh, uh, deities of some kind, uh, usually in the Greco-Roman um, pantheon. But for whatever reason, um, when it came to naming the moons of Uranus, the, uh, the standard has become to name them after Shakespeare characters. Uh, so William Herschel, he discovered these two moons in 1787. What's the deal here? Well, he's actually a really kind of a cool guy in the history of astronomy, um, or at least an important guy. I, I, I can't say how cool he was. Um, William Herschel, well, let's just go down some of his uh, accomplishments. Um he discovered the planet Uranus, for one. Uh, he showed that uh, stars that are very, very close to each other, uh, called binaries, are oftentimes actually two stars in orbit around each other, actual physical binary stars. He cataloged about 2,400 nebula, uh, which is what he termed pretty much anything that wasn't a planet or a star. Um and uh, nebulas are something we'll get into another day in depth. But at this time in the early 1800s, we didn't really know the scope of the size of the universe, that there was anything beyond our galaxy. This is the time that we're starting to get the idea that um, there's more than just our group of stars called the galaxy or the Milky Way. Uh, he discovered infrared radiation. And he showed that many of the previous discovered nebula, um, which uh, in the Messier catalog, were actually clusters of stars. Um, and not all of them resolved into the stars, but he, he thought that at least some of, or he thought that maybe all of them resolved into the stars. He just needed a bigger telescope. Speaking of telescopes, Herschel built uh, many, many telescopes uh, on his own. He learned optics. He learned casting. He, of course, had a lot of help in these endeavors. And uh, here's where we get some interesting biography. Herschel is pretty famous in two fields. He um, 
was born in Hanover, Germany. He was the son of a military musician, and he uh, joined the military uh, as a musician um, with his father when he was old enough. Uh, as I said, he was from Hanover, and apparently, I just learned this today, Hanover and England were under the same monarchy at the time, George II. Um, and so, as part of the military, he and his father had gone to England for a bit, but then was recalled when Hanover needed some soldiers. Uh, during this time, uh, basically, Herschel just up and left, uh, went over to England and settled there. Um, eventually, he had to be pardoned by King George the uh, Third for this uh, uh, this desertion, this AWOL for leaving the military. Um, so, what he actually did, what he made his money at, what his career was at, was that he was a musician. He was a composer. Uh, he had. It looks like a lot of positions as official composers here and there, church organists, organists, um, and uh, other things. He was also a writer. And let me scroll down here. Uh, as far as his musical works, Herschel wrote 18 symphonies for small orchestras, six symphonies for a large orchestra, uh, 12 concertos for oboe, violin, viola, a couple more for organ, six sonatas for violin, cello, and harpsichord, um, solos, 12 of them for violin and basso continuo, whatever that may mean, and other things musically. Bunch of stuff named after this guy. Um, and uh, what often goes undermentioned when talking about Herschel, William Herschel, um, is going to go a bit undermentioned here, to be honest with you. Much of his ex success, uh, certainly in astronomy, can be attributed to the help of his sister, whose name I wrote down here somewhere, Caroline. I knew that, actually. Caroline Herschel was one of William Herschel's sisters. He sent for her. Um, it looks like she may never have married. And for a long time, um, she basically worked as his assistant or even stand-in wife, taking care of household duties, that kind of stuff. But she also uh, helped grind the telescopes. She helped take notes. She helped make charts. She ended up doing her own observations and along the way made many discoveries and even gained membership in uh, uh, some of the different societies and, and was able to publish. She was always in her brother's shadow, uh, largely because of the way uh, society was set up at that time in England. But uh, she was an astronomer in her own right, and I'm very happy to see that uh, uh, Wikipedia actually just flat out calls her an astronomer, fellow astronomer, which is an interesting turn of phrase. Um, William Herschel did eventually get married. Apparently there was some friction between his wife and his sister, but it looks like there's some reconciliation later. Uh, and uh, William Herschel had at least, I think, just the one son, John Herschel, who is another big name in astronomy. He uh, did a lot of the same big sky, big sweeping observations that his father had done in the Northern Hemisphere, except he went down to the South. I didn't actually do uh, uh, any double checking on John Herschel, so some of this is from memory. I want to say he uh, did a lot of his observations from the Canary Islands, but I would have to go back and check. So, uh, oh, one thing I did want to mention, at least one, or maybe my only viewer, is in the uh, uh, area of England, uh, not sure which part, but there does still, still seem to be one of his houses standing um, and I believe it's in the city 
or area of, and I'm going to get this wrong, slow or slow, S-L-O-U-G-H. Um, uh, says here that he lived most of his life in Slow. It's a town in Bunk Buckinghamshire. Yeah, I'm sure there's a much shorter British way of pronouncing that, but Buckinghamshire. Uh, and he was uh, he died there and was buried in the Church of Saint Lawrence, <laughs> Church of Saint Lawrence, Upton Cum Chalvey, and that's near Slow. Uh, there are several monuments to him and his discoveries. And in 19, or I'm sorry, and in 2011, a new bus station um, was built in the center of Slough, Slough, Slough um, which was inspired by his infrared experiment. And somewhere I saw that his house is also available. Oh, one of his houses, and I think it's the one in Slow. Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, his house at, and if you're in the area, uh, you want to go to 19 New King Street in Bath, Somerset. That's where he started off, uh, where he made many of his telescopes, first observed Uranus, and is now the home to the Herschel Museum of Astronomy. So, born in Hanover, moved to Bath, spent most of his time in Slough, and uh, I did read somewhere, though, that his house in Slough, which I think is the one that he actually cut a hole through three floors and the roof to put a vertical telescope there, but I may be conflating my stories. Um, anyway, I did read that that house in uh, Slough was demolished in the 60s, I think it said 1963, uh, which is so recent that that really makes me feel a bit of a shame on that. Um, so anyway, William Herschel. Uh, today, on this date, he discovered two moons of Uranus, which in turn he had discovered Uranus to begin with, and many, many, many other things I did not get into today. Uh, a little bit of astronomy, uh, and that's it. Thank you so much. I will talk to me tomorrow. Bye-bye.